In 2003, Joel Townsend was struggling behind a car door panel with an obscenely large electric screwdriver. If you don't believe it, check out his dramatic reenactment. I came up with the idea in 2003 after trying to replace a stereo speaker in the door of my car. Townsend set out to create a new kind of power tool. A power screwdriver that can navigate tight spaces without compromising tool torque or stripping the head thread. Cool idea, man. The first generation electric screwdriver was born. The tantrum is an electric screwdriver with an attitude. <laughs> Townsend even dropped out of college to find flip-out screwdrivers and pursue his dream of designing the perfect power tool. A self-made education in product development. Not to mention teaching himself CAD, machining, and designing for manufacturability. <laughs> Show off. After seven iterations, the Tantrum electric screwdriver has a low-profile design and a patented gear system. It can be configured into 168 positions, giving it access to spaces inaccessible to traditional power tools. That's 7.2 volts of pure screw-driving versatility. The tool housing is made out of durable nylon and powder-coated aluminum. The interior consists of stainless steel and alloy components. And of course, some solid electronics to make everything work smoothly. Townsend hopes to raise 50 grand to begin commercial production of the Tantrum screwdriver. When Townsend was first ready to start production, he teamed up with a local community college for help. Unfortunately, the students lacked the skills to machine the parts, and when he approached a local CNC company, it was too expensive. Fortunately, that company also recommended Proto Labs, provider of CNC machine and injection molded parts, as an alternative. And the rest is history. Townsend was awarded Proto Labs Cool Idea Award, which helps product designers bring their innovations to life by providing prototyping and short-run production services. The award provided him with the tooling and subsequent first production run of injection molded parts. But now it's up to Kickstarters to help crowdfund this product into a store near you. For more information, click the link below. And until next week, keep on crowdfunding. Yes. Pam to do. But now!